the Japanese writer Marie Kondo has written books and made TV shows about what she calls the joy of tidying. She wants us to declutter our homes and only keep the things that spark joy. A strange message to mention at Christmas, you might think, given the excitement of youngsters across the land about a visit from Father Christmas and receiving loads of presents, and so more things to fill our houses rather than less. Now, I'm a fan of Father Christmas. After all, we live in a world of celebrities, celebrity icons, icons of fame, glamour, and power. But there are not many icons of sheer, unselfish generosity. And I'm glad that before he became Father Christmas, he was St. Nicholas, a Christian saint. But I'm also aware of Father Christmas's limitations. There are millions of children across our world who will receive no presents today, and who indeed have no home, because they've fled situations of violence, oppression, and poverty. Father Christmas is named after Christ, Jesus Christ, who was himself born in a country occupied by a foreign power and where fear and violence were commonplace. Christmas is indeed about joy and good news, but joy without limitation, reaching into every place, however dark. For in the birth of Jesus Christ, God comes to us. In this birth and this life, God shows us who God is. The message of Christmas is that just because God entered our world then, he's also present in our world now, today. And he's present not simply with those who are lucky enough to have full stockings and more under the tree, but with those who are refugees like he was, or who live in countries with harsh, oppressive rulers like he did. I've many things in my house that give me joy. But when I think about it, they're nearly always things that remind me of people, especially my own loved ones. Jesus grew up to teach us about the vital importance of love, not only of those closest to us, but of everyone, especially those with the least. This Christmas, we are unlikely to be decluttering our homes, Marie Kondo style. Perhaps that can wait for our New Year's resolutions. But if we're fortunate, Father Christmas will speak to us of human generosity. But whether or not we are invited to find joy in the abundant love of God, seen in the face of the Christ child, inviting us to order our common life fairly, never forgetting the needs of the poorest, inviting us to live abundant lives, whatever our material resources. Joy to the world. The Lord is come. Let every heart prepare him room. May I wish you a really joyful Christmas.